the other way and do like Russian, Russian sound <laughs> dash cams. Yeah. Those Russians are crazy. <clears throat> they do some pretty fucked up shit. Oh, that's so good. Oh, you switched to Android. No. Oh no, sorry, that's just a big ass iPhone. It's a massive ass iPhone and I'm not texting and driving right now. No, of course not. That would be illegal. Yeah. That would not be... You see your Tony, Sony and Target are leaving Canada. I, not that Sony. it bothers me at all. Target, I, I understand. Shit. But Sony? Yeah, Sony. Like the, you know the Sony stores? Yeah. Like they're all pulling Sony. out of Canada. Really? I just, I literally just read that before you came came out. Hmm. I don't think they're, I mean, there's probably not much market for them. Why not just go <clears> to <throat> a Visions if you want to buy a Sony product? Well, and that's just it. Visions or Future Shop. There's too many of these boutique style stores nowadays that are specialized towards one thing. Nobody's going to go there if you can get the product elsewhere. No. And like, you can go to like a boutique style store for fucking Shaw now. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's like, why? If I want Shaw, I'm gonna call. Yeah, exactly. And order you to come to my house. And you're gonna bring me my box, and get me my TV, <laughs> and I'm not gonna do jack shit. Well, exactly. Uh, it's funny, because I did go when I was in Jacksonville, I went to... Um, Florida? Yeah, I was okay. in Florida a while back, and I went to a Bose boutique store, because they have a big strip mall there. That was cool, because just for like audio. Because yeah. I know you're a big music buff too, so I mean... I've been in a few Bose stores. Oh, they're gorgeous. Never afford anything that's no. in there, but <laughs> I love going in there and plugging in my iPod and just listening. Yeah, exactly. It's great. I just got my sister the uh, the sound link. Oh, okay. And she, she says she loves it. It sounds really good for, for 130 bucks. Like, it's it's not oh, a bad little bad. system. It's portable. Fun. I know. Things are... Bye. <laughs> people are driving crazy like... in this area. <laughs> Run! And she's just going full and on she jogging. Is fucking, <laughs> holy fuck, she is just giving her. She's probably like, fuck. And then the ter person turned around and drove right back up the hill. I don't hill. understand. I'm done with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck you. Did you leave your child at home? Or that still doesn't merit running. That was like Phoebe running in Friends. <laughs> like, literally, I literally watched that episode this morning. Oh, it's funny. Okay, <clears throat> tell me about the mustache. Okay. What, what happened? So. I made a bet with my, my foreman. He's a huge Habs fan. Okay. And I'm a I'm a Bruins fan, so of course. we obviously hate each other. Just yeah. that's how it is. So I made a bet during one of the games that it was during November and it was um, whoever won that game would have to keep the mustache for a month longer. Ooh. Which, you know, whatever. I don't mind facial hair, but he looked absolutely greasy, so I really was hoping it was gonna be for that. For him, yeah. But then it turned out that um, I lost, and me being a gambling man made a double or nothing bet. <laughs> oh man, what was the what was the bet that they just win or? Yeah, like it, win or lose, and then it would just be you would keep. It was for bragging rights, and then you'd have to keep your money. So you lost time. twice in a row. Yeah, I did. Oh, brutal. Boston just got murdered by Montreal. So, I mean, here I am, a mustache later. Did you ever see my picture with the passport photo? No. Oh my god. I saw your Christmas sweater photo, but yeah, I, I took a page out of your book. That was. It was great. I really enjoyed that. No, what happened was I water damaged my passport and I was going down to Whitefish for New Year's yeah. in Montana and I had to get a new passport. I had to get new pictures. I looked like a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> like 10 years on my record. <coughs> oh, looking man. Just greasy. I think the, my last, I just got my passport renewed last year, I think, or the year before, mm -hmm. for 10 years or whatever. And it, the photo I got, it's not as good as my driver's license photo. Yeah. It's, my yeah. driver's license photo I had to get redone. But, it was my, that bad, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Someone was wearing a toque. I was, and you know what happened, is I went in there. I love how you got and, away with like half smiling. Yeah, because I was pissed off. Like, I was about to go get a haircut. Okay, peace mm -hmm. out, Mr. Cab. Yeah. Um, I was about to go get a haircut and kind of look all dapper, but I was like, oh, I'll go get my license renewed first, mm -hmm. which I shouldn't have done. Although, I think it was like the last day I could have gotten it done too. Oh. So I was like, was right it on, on your birthday? Yeah, it was yeah, on my birthday. Exactly. It was right on the cusp. Yeah. So I was like, fuck, I got it. Like, don't have time for both. 
um, right now. Mm -hmm. So um, the picture I had before, I purposely made it like I wore plaid. I had my hair all slicked to the side. I had like the beard, and I just like made it purposely look like I was a serial killer. Yeah. And then I really wanted to keep that picture, but when I went and renewed, she was like, "Yeah, you know, she's like, eh, well." No, we gotta take a new picture. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? She's like, yeah, and you can't wear your toque in it. I was like, all right. So I yanked off the toque and I just fucking like mussed my hair. So it was sticking straight up. And I'm like, all right. Half smiling, like, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Do it. I'm really happy about this. Yeah, don't care. Yeah. Krista's really, really, really hates that picture. <laughs> ah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Get pulled over by the cops. Go. They just laugh. Yeah. Everybody laughs. We went to the strip club one night and I handed the guy my ID and he just like, ha! <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. It's probably like, you're Still, 17, nobody knows any better. Yeah. It's just like, ha <laughs> Yeah, they ignore the fact that I'm, I've been underage for eight years. Yeah. <laughs> just nine years, I guess. Oh, fuck. Almost 10 years. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I don't get ID'd anymore. It's really, actually, the States is bad for it, I found. Getting ID? Yeah, uh, because everybody, it's 21 there, so they're just yeah, ruthless about it. Well, they don't, yeah, they don't, well, it's whatever, getting ID is not really the end of the world. No. I remember in Vegas I was getting ID'd. All, like, I got ID'd once just sitting in a slot machine, which has never happened before. Yeah, like, like, we were just sitting that's there. It never happened to me either. They didn't even, like, she didn't even come over to, like, ask us for drinks. She was just like, can I see your IDs? And we're like... Well, we don't want any drinks. And she was like, no, to gamble. We were like, what? Isn't it 18 to gamble? I don't think it is. No, it's 21 to gamble. Is it? It's 18 to buy cigarettes and nudie mags, oh. which makes no sense to me. No. So you can get lung cancer and jack off, but you can't You can't have a drink while you're doing it. I guess not. That's the states for you. Oh, by the way, I remembered this. It's, it's still unopened? Yeah, it's been like a little cracked and stuff, but... Oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah. I can't believe you still have this. I found it today. I was like, I have to find it for him. Oh, man. So, <laughs> I was like, you, you gotta have your Ghostbusters album. Well, yeah. <laughs> what, what, you bought... How long ago did that you buy this? That was a long time. That was, was like two years yeah, ago. Yeah, I was in Strathmore. Strathmore and, Walmart, right? Yeah, and I was just like walking around and I'm like, oh my god, Lincoln would love this. Yeah. And I love this album. I know, and then it got lost in my room for eons. Like, it was literally... And it was funny, because every time I saw you, you were like, Oh, oh, I'll remember it next time. And then today, like, I finally got my room organized, so, like, all my CDs were in one spot, and I was like, wait a minute. So I ran over to my CD case, and I was like, yes! Beautiful. Yeah. Thanks, man. No worries. That's really cool. Now you can jam out to your Ghostbusters. Exactly. So what's new with you? Um, what's going on these days? Not much, just electricianing. I actually worked with them last night. Yeah. Putting a big, uh, that big panel together. I actually flipped the switch. You flipped the switch? Yeah, it was like 400 amp breaker. These things are like this big. Mm -hmm. They're huge. Meaning Pretty like flipping the switch, meaning you turned it on? Yeah, you like hit the breaker, but <laughs> it tripped. So Ooh. something something was like not firing properly. Oh, It's kind of scary. Because if that thing blows up, I'm fucking dead. You're dead and or fired. Yeah, either or. Yeah, so just electrician and it's good. Like, for the most part, I have, like, a nice steady life from Monday to Friday. And that's that's good. Um, I haven't worked too much film stuff lately since uh, since the winter hit. That's, that's kind of slowed down, but I think things are going to pick up with that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, hopefully soon. Yeah. We'll see. Then I'm doing this and just kind of hanging out. I mean, yeah, it's it's a dog. good little little side project to do. Yeah. I mean, I wanted to do that with podcasting forever, but <laughs> I know we've talked about that. Oh, I know. God knows how many. It's just getting the basics done, like getting the blue, like the, I like the blue Yeti microphones mm -hmm. I want to get, and you know, get the actual studio kind of set up. And mm -hmm. It's 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 a problem, and it's also finding the time between people. Yeah, finding the time and like that that's what's nice about this is like I I basically wanted to do this so that I'm able to like go and have conversations with people that I haven't seen in forever and like just mm -hmm. be like, let's go for coffee and like you can just drive around and fucking talk. It's great. Well it's basically like video casting and I mean if mm -hmm. if you have someone who's a good conversationalist with you, you're never gonna have an issue. You're never gonna run short on topics. So no. it makes for a good it makes for a good time. Mm -hmm. 
Well, um, have you seen Gone Girl? No. Okay. And I watched the Golden uh, Globes, but... Did it win anything? I think it won, like, one or two. I hope so. I'm gonna tell you right now, you have to fucking watch really? Go Gone Girl. Okay. You're... Well, you like Affleck, don't you? Yeah, I don't mind Affleck. Well, we have another thing to talk about with Affleck then, <laughs> in a second, but... Is Affleck Batman, is but... fucking stellar in this movie, and Fincher... Fincher kills it. Like, it's not... I mean... Nothing touches Fight Club. Mm -hmm. Fight Club is an awesome, like, Fight oh, Club's yeah. an awesome fucking movie. But Gone Girl is just like, what the fuck, the whole time. I don't even know the premise of the movie, but. Honestly, the way, the, the like, the way they sold it, it was just like, the dude's wife goes missing. That's all they tell you. And that's basically what it's about, but, oh, fuck. Just a lot more twists, and it'll make you not never want to have a relationship again. Oh, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> really makes me hopeful for the future. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll have to give it a watch. I heard uh, well, Grand Budapest Hotel mm -hmm. won. Uh, it won best comedy of the year. Did it? Yeah, that's a good movie. I I heard it was. Bill Murray <coughs> was in Grand Budapest Hotel, or was it Bill Murray? I thought he was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's in. Well, he's in everything Wes Anderson does. Yeah, he's he's done a lot of movies. Oh, there. what's that fucking movie he's in now? Saint Vincent. Saint Vincent. That's. What I haven't I'm... seen it yet, but I I want to see it. Well, uh, it looks really good. I've seen the. It's like a darker style of comedy for him, mm -hmm. which I like to see him adapt because he's got that he's got that like. Well, personality. It's, he's snarky in it. Mm -hmm. He looks really yeah. He's he's like a snarky old man. Really beat up. What have you seen? I haven't seen a lot of movies lately, to be no. honest. Like I'm not. My pop culture is going out the window as it seems. The fuck's like, wrong with you, Walter? I don't know. My big thing is like I've been on this big Spotify kick right now. Oh, music. Yeah. So like I'm downloading every one-hit wonder from the '70s. Like it's going out of style. Like what? Uh, I just downloaded some Holland Oats. Um, that Guardians of the Galaxy album is amazing. Mm. Um, that is a good fucking soundtrack. Oh, Did you I see the movie though? Yeah, of course. Okay, good. I love that movie. I have it on Blu-ray. It's one of the few <coughs> things I'll actually buy on Blu-ray for myself. So good. Yeah. I yeah, I thought that was one of Stan Lee's like best, like when it came to actually making Marvel movies mm. so far. Like that and the Avengers. Yeah. Although I don't know what the. I haven't seen the new Avengers trailer yet. What do you want? Uh, large black. Cowboy coffee. Hi, can I get a large black and a large? Okay. Okay. It's like, hi, can I help you? One moment, please. Did she say, can I help you? I'm pretty sure she did. I think so. So she was like, all like, hey. 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 Actually, you know what? I'm busy. Hold on a second. Yeah. Please, just, just, <laughs> just, just one minute. Just. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Oh, I have this. Lady <coughs> at the Timmy's by my house. Rude thing. Hi. It's like what? Is this all she says? Yeah. She's like, can I? She's like, pretty much like, what do you want? And I'm like, I'm sorry for the leader. What color is black coffee? Yeah, large, a large black and a large two cream, three sugar. Nice. Two nice. cream and three sugar. Yeah. Else? No, that's it. Thank you. That'll be three eighty, and I'll see you at the window. Oh, okay. Timmy's just makes me laugh every time. Oh, yeah, they're a funny bunch. <laughs> These yeah. people, I've been here too many times this week. They're so. probably just like, he brings a different person every time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm here. I'm here every day. Sometimes, a couple times a day. <coughs> they haven't. Get... They haven't started to recognize me yet, but they will. They will. And they're like, two cream, three sugar. Well, and they like it. It'll be funny because eventually like this won't be my go-to Tim Hortons anymore because then they're gonna build one down at the bottom of the hill yeah kind of in our neighborhood which will be really nice because then I don't have to drive all the way up here yeah is this panorama yeah exactly yeah okay yeah I thought so it's not even the same fucking neighborhood no yeah I kind of I live in a shitty place too like I live right by the foothills industrial so I have to is that down south yeah oh fuck I am Deep, well, not deep south. I'm like before Mackenzie and stuff. So. From the deep south. <laughs> deep south. Boy, I'll tell you what. I get my coffee from the industrial area. <laughs> the mustache makes it so much better. I know. I really wanted to wear aviators today. <laughs> Just like kind of pull off the cop look. And then I realized I lost them. So 
and I wasn't gonna go buy more. I'm going for like the disheveled cop look that's the cop that's been on the job yeah. for It's like God damn it O'Leary, I'm trying to crack this case. Yeah. yeah. I'm the one the one guy in Fort Fort Mac calls me Detective Constable. <laughs> and I, it works. <laughs> You would be the best beat cop ever. Just constable, constable. Yeah. yeah. People would be like, what? Solving murders. <laughs> Sol <laughs> Solving murders, taking names. Going rogue. Going rogue. You have to go rogue. That's what he always says to me. He's just like, you've gone rogue, constable. <laughs> That's the best part. Oh. What are you playing these days? Shadows, get... of, Shadows of Mordor is what I'm playing right now. Okay. What system do you have? I have the Xbox One. So do I. I have quite a lot of games. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto V? I don't have that. I played that a little What's bit. What's wrong with you? I, I was never, like, Grand Theft Auto's great, but I'm one of those people who gets very bored of the sandbox, like, unless it's the, like, the missions don't mean much to me. I'll go on there to cause mayhem. Like. Yeah, but you, I, I don't, like, did you not play five at all? Yeah, I did play five a little bit. It, okay. I mean, the storyline's a lot better. It's a lot more put together. Oh, yeah. And the fact that you can use three different players is. Good, how are you? Good. Three. Yeah. Tap that. So can we tap that. Ass. Yeah. So I mean, like the three players is definitely a different aspect. <coughs> okay. It's been. Uh, Thank you. You too. It's been pretty good with that. What was that? Watch Dogs. Have you played Watch Dogs yet? No. Oh my God. Now. Watch Dogs is very Grand Theft Auto, it's like Sandbox, but the the storyline is really, really well put together. Yeah. It's about uh, a hacker who tries to uh, hack into a big, I think they're at a big function, and he tries to hack all the money out of the like celebrities and stuff. Oh, okay. Gets caught, and uh, someone takes him down and ends up killing his, his niece. Yeah. In a car crash. Oh, shit because they shoot out his car and he's on like this massive vendetta and it's like the story's well put together and the gameplay is really fun to like hack through stuff and, like blow up steam pipes and destroy cars it's great yeah that one a friend of mine told me to check it out and I never did why's your blinker on if you're not turning yeah and fucking people smoke up oh two in a row Heard it here a few times. Yeah, man. Um, I just got. I have Wolfenstein. I heard that was good. It's really good. I haven't played it nearly as much as I should have, mm -hmm. but it's really good. Yesterday that was just pipes. Today it's a baseball field. There you go. Field of dreams. <laughs> if you build it, they will come. Absolutely. I don't know. Um, what's going there, but. Wolfenstein's really good. It's like it's fucking. It's crazy, crazy, crazy intense because, like, I and I haven't even played where it starts. Is it starts in 1945, but the game is set in 1960, like with the Nazis actually winning the war. Oh, okay. And taking over, so I haven't even gotten to 1960 yet. Right. So I'm still in 1945. Oh, so it's been over 15 years. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it because it's like you're. I think the way the story starts is you're supposed to be helping try and take down the Nazis and Hitler and blah blah blah. Yeah. But you fail, and then so it cuts to like a more modern, more modernized where like Nazis are everywhere and you know in America and Britain and every like everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I just I haven't gotten there yet, and I'm so excited to like I just have to sit down and actually fucking play it. But then I went and got myself Far Cry, Far Cry Four. I heard that's amazing. Uh, I'm. Woo! That was. What is going on today? I don't know. I hate people with like driver's licenses. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Like, just quit fucking around with your kids and get them in the car. Get like, it together. Jesus. Yeah, I heard anyway. Far Cry. Isn't it set in like India? Yeah. So I've never played any of the Far Cries, but I've played about neither have I. <coughs> I've played about five minutes of it. Jesus, I don't. I just don't sit down and play video games like I should well not like I should but like I just don't do it I had a problem with that for a long time where I would just jump between games and be like okay like I'm kind of like I get bored quickly and stuff but I find 
with those games, like they're usually slow off the start. So if you can, if you can just force yourself to, it sounds weird because like why would you have to force yourself to play video games? But yeah, exactly. If you force yourself for literally an hour to get into the depth of the gameplay, I find it to be a lot more of an enjoyable experience. So with Shadows of Mordor, you're uh, you're an old ranger, yeah, and you die, but uh, you come back to life as a wraith. Oh. So. Um, you pretty much walk between the lines between like the, the living world and the shadow world, right? Which is super cool, and there is some definite massacring of orcs, which is the best part. Like that's all you do is kill orcs, and I mean there's some story to it, but uh, they have this cool system set up. So what it is is, if you get killed by an orc, mm -hmm. they get promoted to a captain, and then they have they have power battles in between them. There's like 15 captains and four war chiefs so what they do is they have constant power battles so power always fluctuates and they grow in power as they kill each other right or as they kill you so and then there's duels in between them and stuff so you can break that up and you pretty much go and hunt down these captains huh. it's i had this one guy i could not kill him i like stabbed him left him to die everything he would just come back and like they come back non-stop like i pretty much had to lop his head off before he stopped coming at me Whoa. Yeah, it was <laughs> amazing. <coughs> yeah, I've heard that one's pretty... Like, it kind of just takes the whole... Because any game they've made before that, like, in terms of Lord of the Rings, has just been crap. Right? Oh, it's terrible. They, I mean, they've had one... They had one for GameCube while, though. It wasn't terrible. Like, GameCube. Ever since then, it's been pretty shit. Yeah, but it's, that's fucking GameCube. Yeah. GameCube was pretty revolutionary at its time. Mm -hmm. I quite enjoyed GameCube. Games. I'm not. I'm not saying it wasn't. But no. At the time, not now. No, definitely not. I mean, now it's just a cube. Yeah. You're just like, what is this thing? Uh, it had a fucking handle on it. I know. So you could like carry it, like, just like la tra la la la. That's the one thing about Nintendo that I've always really enjoyed. About they've always really made their systems out of like hard plastic, and they're durable. Yeah. Maybe not so much the Wii and the Wii U. Yeah, but you have different components. But like N64. Nowadays. Oh my god, that thing's a tank. Yeah. The cartridges you could drop. Because like they six knew feet. they knew that you'd be like carting it over to your friend's house and Yeah. You know, like playing and, and GameCube, same thing. That's why they put a fucking handle on it. Yeah, they're like, hey, you can just carry this to your friend's house. Yeah. I had like the old GameCube like shoulder strap bag that you could put all your stuff in. It was a shoulder strap bag? Yeah, like it came with or my dad got me one. It was like the actual Nintendo GameCube bag. So like you put your GameCube in, you can fit like two or three games in it and all your components. It was really hilarious. Oh, that's, that's so gay. Looking back on it, it was absolutely gay. Like, wow. Just uber gay. Yeah. <laughs> it's my man purse. I mean, it's kind of adorable. I guess if you're like a six year old kid, it's kind of adorable. Though. Yeah. If I, if I did that now, it's yeah. like. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, people are like. so what, weird. What are you doing? Just, First off, why am I having a GameCube yeah. in 2015? Yeah. What is going on there? The one game I've always, the one game I've never had a problem playing is Grand Theft Auto V. Yeah. <clears throat> I've played through it two or three times now, and I'm on my fourth time through it because now I have it for the one. Mm -hmm. I heard they added more components. Oh, dude, it. there's so much more shit. Yeah. There's new, more music, there's more missions, <clears throat> there's more traffic, there's more animals, there's more everything. Perfect. And and more cars from like all the different games and stuff. So it's it's like it's actually like worth it. Mm -hmm. You know, not to say that the 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 PS3 or 360 version wasn't worth it. It was great. You know, right. It was great for what it was. But now that it's like they're like, here's the game, but here's the game with so much more. You're like, why wouldn't I want to play this? Well, no. Yeah. I mean, when you add more stuff in, like, I. Even the 360 version was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, do you ever play sports games? Uh, NHL 15. Very dis. NHL is my, like my favorite. Well, I had game. NHL 15 for the 360. Yeah. Um, it was great. I mean, it's pretty standard. It was the same as 14 almost, but NHL 15. I just without the you know certain functions. Like it's great to play online play against someone. Yeah. But it was missing like GM connected. I don't know what GM Connect is. So it's basically like you and your buddies build a league and then oh. you can trade in between and stuff. It's a lot of work. It's almost like fantasy, but you get to play. Um, that sounds like too much work. I'm just like, I'd rather like sit down and just... It was fun to play against your buddies and track. 
but at the same time, I never made trades. Like everybody's like, yeah. I want, I, <laughs> I'm on Boston. They're like, I want Marshan. I was like, go oh, fuck. I'm not making, making trades. Yeah. I'm just gonna play with my players. So deal with it. Oh man, fucking speaking of hockey, this year has been tough. Tree. Uh, very tough. As an Oilers fan, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Very tough. Oh my god, I can't even. I see. I can't even watch their games anymore. Yeah, it's. The point there's no point. Like I can't even. I can't. I can't even bring myself to watch. And there's no. Even if they win, it's still like, what's the point? Yeah, there's no lack of talent. I don't get it. No, there, there's, 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 an abundance of talent. It's, it's. There's no clear direction, and there's no. Nobody knows how to utilize that talent. Everybody wants to be a fucking star. I think they need to put more depth into it too. Like you have the talent. Like we need defense. Third line and fourth line, some of these guys, and then you're gonna you're gonna end up getting a little more depth throughout your entire line. Yeah, but we need defense. Yeah, by and far. Really badly, and we need goal. We don't have a starting goalie, and we haven't had a starting goalie no. is no good. in quite a while. You know, and then we made that piss poor trade for fucking Brzezgalov last year, mm -hmm. and it was like, what the fuck? Like, what are you doing there? What? You know, we got rid of like the best defense that we had, which was Schmied, and now he's with Calgary. Yeah. And even then, like Schmied's not the best player in the world. Like, don't get me wrong, I was very happy to have him around. In, yeah. You know, to play for us, but it's like, what a fucking crapshoot that was, bringing Brzezgalov in and. And it's just like they've made all these like they feel like little mistakes at first, but then they turn into like major mistakes. I swear, it's like the curse ever since like Gretzky got traded away. It's one of the weirdest things. It's just like that was a huge trade as it was back in the day, like to trade Gretzky and I'm pretty sure it wasn't it McSorley as well and like there were some big players being traded. So and then now like they kind of adopt the same mentality where it's like, okay, like we need star. We need star scorers. No defense. <laughs> yeah, but they had a, it. Was a much different team back then. They actually mm -hmm. had like, you know, it was it, it was a different game. Yeah, it you was. know, it was like the game that like Gretzky. I don't know if Gretzky could come in nowadays. No, and it's, do the same. It's a different game, right? Like do the same shit. I would love to watch <coughs> Danny Melkin like. Knock his block off, just coming around the net. Well, everybody's just, just bigger now. They're like, fast. Yeah. Bigger, faster, stronger. Yeah. Harder. <laughs> they got that. You know, it's gay yeah. porn hard. Yeah. I read. Uh, I read though. <laughs> Hockey is gay porn hard. Now. It's just rock solid. Yeah. It's just right. What, you, what did you read? Um, for any player to even come close to breaking Gretzky's records, they'd have to play 16 seasons at 140 points a season. What? Just to just to like tie Gretzky's like all-time points record. Really? Isn't that insanity? Like 140, you can't do that anymore in the NHL. Like a, a single player. One single player would have to do 16 consecutive years with 140 points every year. Every year. How does that even work? I don't know. Like it's you, how did how did Gretzky do it? I don't know. But like you can't. How many points was he? Must have been averaging like three hundred points. How many years did he play? He played ten or twelve years, I think. Some something no, around there. He played longer than that. Yeah. Well, the, there were some years he had two hundred points. I guess. So. I guess I mean, that's true. That's insane. Two hundred points on a year is is fucked. You're lucky if you crack a hundred nowadays. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of like you're the you're the top rung if you crack a hundred, mm. aren't you? Oh yeah, you're like number one if you crack a hundred. Jesus. Like I think Crosby did it a while ago, like a long time when he just started debuting. He's shit now too. <laughs> I just love it. Yeah, he's definitely not the best. No, I mean, anymore. he's he's still rated as one of the, and I don't. I don't see people. People have a hard time letting go of like, oh no, he's like, he's Mr. Hockey, he's Canada's golden boy. Like, no, like there's quality players out there. Like, you look at like a Jonathan Taze or Sharp or anything. Taze like is a good. Player. Oh yeah, like I don't Patty like Chicago. Kane. Yeah, neither do I. Patty Kane's good too. I don't like Chicago, but I I, I like me some Taves. Yeah. Camel Camilleri's one of my favorite players of all time. Oh, I love Camilleri. Yeah. And it's funny because he he, well no he's not with he's not with the Flames anymore. Yeah, who's he with now? Um, <laughs> where's he going? I was actually sad when I found that out. Yeah, he was. He was he with got the Wild. 
Actually, Calgary's been a good team to watch this year, too. It's Calgary, you know what? I hate to say it, but I have more fun watching Calgary. They're than exciting them. games. And it's funny because, like, they, I don't know how they've been doing lately because I haven't really watched, but mm -hmm. I know for a while they, they were going on a fucking tear. Like, an absolute fucking tear where they were just, like, you know, they would go down, like, three, like, or the other team would have a three-goal lead, and then all of a sudden they'd come back and fucking win the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whether it was in regulation or overtime, they managed to win by one goal, and it was like, how are you doing this? Oh, yeah. I, I... On paper, you guys should not be able to do this. On paper. They're just hardworking. Like, they just, all of them really push really hard to win. Which is, which yeah, because they've got everything to prove, and that's yeah. good. That's good for them. to watch. So I think, uh, I think, uh, fucking Connor McDavid will be coming to Edmonton. Which is, like, uh, I hate a defense. I player. hate no, but you know what? It's fucking. That's what they're gonna do. That is exactly what they're gonna fucking do. They're gonna because Connor McDavid's one of like the highest rated players or draft players in like a long time, isn't he? He's he's supposed to be the next Crosby. Right. So, so had he not broken his hand, he would have broke all the junior records that Crosby was doing. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. So yeah, you're looking. So. Right now, Edmonton's sitting in last. For they, draft. they have to. They ha they'd have. Don't they to have be. draft lottery too now. Duh. Yeah. So there's still a percent that they might not get. <coughs> like yeah, they, they have the best chance to get. First yeah, they round. have a higher percentage of chance of getting first round or first draft. Mm -hmm. And it and it's happened before. We like we got 27th one year and we got first round pick. Mm -hmm. That was a couple of years ago. Yeah. It was like three or four years ago we got that, and I, I just laughed because I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me? We didn't even get last place and we still got first draft." Yeah. First round. You're just destined to pick up first rounders. I guess, and so, and no, like do nothing with them. Yeah. Do absolutely nothing with them. So in my mind, Edmonton, get on the sidewalk. I don't know what people are doing. Are you stupid? What is with your community? I don't know, man. This place is crazy. I don't see it too much during the day. You like, come out at or night. like, I guess, at the end of the day. This is technically the end of the day. I guess so. But anyway, I can totally see Edmonton making that piss poor move of taking Connor McDavid in the very, you know, as the first draft pick instead of somebody that, you know, we could actually use, like a, a defenseman or. Something like that, I can I can totally see them doing it, pure, purely based on the fact that he's uh, number one. He's number one. You know what's funny? Like I, if I was Edmonton, I would pick up McDavid and I would trade away one of my higher players like Everlay or <coughs> like not Tyler a bad Hall, idea, and then pick up a good defenseman for it. Yeah. That way you have fresh legs. Like these guys are still kind of grooving in the NHL, but like yeah. you pick up your number one prospect. And then you pick up a solid defensive player. Yeah. Not a bad idea. We'll see what happens. When's the draft? Um, it's a while still. I guess it's after the Stanley Cup anyway. Yeah, so it's, I think it's in June. We'll see what happens. Yeah. How's yeah. the construction here? It must be fun. Oh, it's awful. Yeah. As you can see, I fucking hate it. Yeah. Nobody has to park on this side of the road. Well... I used to park on there and then they put up those stanchions. It's like, well, fuck you. Yeah. Everybody's, I don't know. Everybody's always in the way. Uh, every, every, like every day. It's so hard to get out of, off this street. <laughs> every Just single trucks, day. And, yeah. yeah. At least you don't park for a week at the airport. Like, hey. Okay. No, exactly. Cool, man. Well, it was good catching up. Yeah, thanks for coming out and doing coffee time. Absolutely, Fucking love it. Spilling coffee everywhere. <laughs> love the truck part. Coffee time oh, destruction. I love your truck, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I love your truck. It's got a nice big dent in the back. I want to look at it. Yeah. Not the dent, but the truck. But anyway, <laughs> cheers, buddy. Absolutely.